Okay, so let's take a look at this TikTok video. Aliens invaded New York City. Yo, I've never seen nothing like that. All right, so, all right, that that's it. So, all right, so my analysis of this is, um, it, to me, you know, I haven't looked at this very often, but if you look at some, that looks like a green light right there. And look, see that green light there? You, it would be down here now, so. Or is that it up there? Now it's yellow. Can we see a yellow red light? No. Well, anyways, it don't matter. So, uh, hold on a second. Did you see that right there? If we could go back, we'll focus over here on this light pole here. See, it's see that right there I probably got my arrow in the way try that again see to me I mean to me if I could stop it to me oh I did stop it right up see that it's going right in front of this pole right here the light is see that so to me this is not UFO aliens in outer space surveying the earth and getting ready to come down and have sex with your wife and your daughter or whatever you know they're trying to sell here to me this is um, I don't know what it is maybe a glass in front of the camera or something that's reflecting all the lights in front of them. Look at all these lights here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You know, all these lights and then move the move your phone around. I mean, move your phone around. No? Maybe, maybe it's something else. Looks like his phone's pretty still, except it's not. He keeps moving it around. Uh, keeps moving around enough. Looks like the lights are moving. I don't know, man. I, what I can tell you is you got some sort of imagination on you to see these lights here in this image and to imagine these lights are from the planet Mars. Alright, and that there are actually beings inside of these lights all right and then if you want to take it one step further they're coming down and having sex with your wife while you're sleeping right, that's that's one amazing imagination that you have there all right so all that aside all right what about this idea of alien invasions or project blue beam and so okay so here's my thoughts on 2004 comments that's amazing wow I don't even this was shared to me by somebody I don't even know how you come across it I don't know TikTok I don't I I don't like these short videos that everything's out of context or they're a little bit in my opinion a little bit mindless but that's just me anyways who cares so the idea of the project blue beam or this idea of an alien uh, invasion like they faked going to the moon all right all this I don't think they can 
Uh, they faked going to the moon, and it's obvious now that they didn't go. There's no way, in my opinion, that they're going to be able to fake an, an alien encounter of any kind. And you read these comments, and it, it seems like nobody's buying it. And so if they're going, I mean, here's the thing. All these people that are saying all the same it. Some of them might, maybe, but uh, all these people calling this out, saying this is not, this is not real. Well, that's obvious. It's not real, right? Or that they're saying this is we're being set up and that sort of thing. I get it. That's a drone. <laughs> that's brilliant. There you go. So, I mean, there are people out there that will, that would readily buy up the idea of an alien encounter. No question about it. But. Um, they would have to do uh, a nearly flawless job uh, of presenting this idea of uh, an alien encounter, right? It can't be anything like this. This is ridiculous, okay. And I don't even think that's in the clouds, but regardless, who cares? If, um, if in order to get people to believe let's say that they do something much more sophisticated than what we're seeing here all right if they're able to convince people that there are aliens or there was an alien encounter there's no doubt in my mind that they would have to kill a whole bunch of people you know maybe an entire city maybe a million people they would have to do something devastating to shock people into believing that uh, there was an alien encounter now what is the you know what is the solution to it uh, I mean there you could theorize that uh, you know uh, they'll come up they already have a solution for it and they'll make us do something um, and that sort of thing and I get it you know maybe make us all get the microchip you know uh, so that in case aliens attack us again they can keep track of who's an alien and who's not an alien or, or whatever you know I mean, you could theorize play this out it's in my opinion it's just not going to work they can't do it they're not smart enough and there's just no way they can phony this. Now, keep in mind, this is, it, I guess, in New York City, this is such a small area of the world. Even to go out to the horizon from this end to the opposite end, it's such a small segment of the world. So in order for this idea of a Project Blue Beam, a shining lights in the sky, it's not going to work. It's because it's going to be in such a small area and there are so many big cities and there's no way in the world that they could coordinate and uh, orchestrate a, a, an event like that. There's no way. It can't happen. I don't believe it will happen. Uh, I think that they probably uh, do want it to happen and they undoubtedly have plans for it. It's just I don't think they're smart enough and bold enough to do it. And if they, I mean, if they did do it, uh, that it, it could backfire on them, but in a big way. All right. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on it. There's no way. To me, it's it's incredible, really. I mean, there are a lot of people out there that will see a light in the sky and imagine. That there is a being in that light and that they're flying around outer space and that they're coming down and having sex with their daughter or their wife or their girlfriend or, who, or whoever. That's the storyline that's being sold and a lot of people believe that. It, it, I'm making it sound ridiculous because it is ridiculous. There are not people in those lights there. I mean, come on. Be honest. 